Hi there, my name is Alana and today we are going to be taking a look at the Louis Vuitton Cruise 2021 Collection Game On. So is it Game On or Game Off or Game No or Game We? I don't know, but we are going to chat about it. I've had a chance to take a look at the collection and, and develop some thoughts and I'm excited to share them with you. So let's get into it. So the whole idea behind this collection is like playing cards, like game on, it's got a lot of hearts, it's very playing cards, it has a very queen of hearts vibe to it, it is very playful, it's cheerful, and it reminds me a lot of their very popular multicolor collection. So in this collection we see the iconic monogram get a bit of a makeover, and including hearts. Also see a white monogram, which is something very exciting. It's kind of an ode to their 2003 multicolor collection. We see the classic Neverfull and the Speedy get a bit of a makeover. Like I said, we see that white monogram coming back out. And we also see some kind of interesting, very deck of cards, casino inspired, like dice inspired pieces coming forward. Now I do just want to say, I want to put it out there, that personally, the Louis Vuitton limited edition collections don't really speak to me. This is probably my favorite limited edition since the Tahitian collection, which was the Demi Azure canvas with pink on it. Um, but for me, I love the classic elegance of Louis Vuitton and their canvas prints. I love Demi Azure, I love Monogram, I love Demi Azure, I love them all. I think they're so beautiful and elegant the way they are. I think they're just beautiful. I don't really see myself picking up pieces from this collection. I'll also say that at this stage in my Louis Vuitton journey, I don't have all the pieces I want in the regular collection, so I really don't see myself straying from that to get something new and flashy and, and that won't necessarily stand the test of time. That being said, multicolor stood the test of time and I wouldn't be surprised to see, especially the white monogram pieces from this collection, last. So. Overall, I think this is a very sweet and cheerful collection. I think it has very fun retro vibes. Generally speaking, I prefer the new white monogram to any of the classic monogram pieces that have paint on top of them. I would not be surprised to see pieces from this collection retain their value in a reasonable way, although I don't really see them you know, skyrocketing in value the way the multicolor would. But Louis Vuitton, if you're watching this, bring back multicolor. I think a lot of people would be very happy. I'd be very happy. So my favorite from the collection is the heart shaped bag. It retails for $2,730 Canadian. It's out of stock. I understand that it's very hard to get a hold of. Uh, but what I like about it is you've got the classic monogram and then you've just added the tiniest little uh, red heart and a white LV, which quite frankly, I don't even think the bag needs that. Like, let's just have the heart shaped bag. But I think it's a very cute and sweet bag and a nice way to have a piece of the collection if that's a piece that you would see yourself wearing. I think it's more novelty than it is practical, but it's not the most impractical bag that they've ever released. Now, another piece from this collection, and if you are looking to get a hold of the sort of updated monogram, this one might be for you, and that is their Kiragami collection. So the Game On Kiragami Pochette uh, retails for 1,190 Canadian dollars and I believe that the regular collection is like 840. Um, so a bit of a markup, but not the worst markup I've seen in this collection. I will just note that typically, and in this case always for this collection, the uh, limited edition pieces do retail for more than their regular collection counterparts. So this one I think is really sweet. It's a nice way to get a piece of the collection without having it be too overwhelming. Generally speaking, I think that this updated monogram looks best on smaller pieces. So if I was going to buy anything from this collection, it would probably be this, and I would probably be looking um, into small leather goods and ways to get sort of a taste of this. You have the larger pochette in the black monogram, the medium pochette, which would feel like a passport if you're traveling, in the white monogram, and then the smallest one is black. The only thing I wish, I wish that the smallest and the largest had been white only because I find the white monogram to be more visually appealing personally, but I just, I like lighter, brighter colors. But I do think the larger one you could use as a bit of an evening bag or a clutch, and so I appreciate probably why they did it that way, but I do think it's a really lovely collection, and 
that would be one that I would consider getting. So the next item that I think represents a great value, whether it's in the regular collection or in the limited edition, is the Felice pochette. And what I love about it is it actually comes with two sort of small leather goods. You get a little pouch that matches and then you also get a bit of a card holder. But if you like this collection in black, then you would get a little black bag that you could use as an evening bag. And then you also, in the same updated monogram, you also get a little SLG, like a little pouch, which, like I've said before, I think this collection looks best on smaller pieces. Another item I quite like is the Game On Bandeau because on one side you have the black and on the other side you have the white in that upgraded, upgraded, updated monogram. And I think this would be a really fun way if you're someone like myself who has more classic or basic style uh, where you could get a bit of a taste of it without having to, to commit to a whole bag. Another piece I think is really neat is the Game On Neverfull. So it's available in the black and the white monogram and the card detail that you see is actually a pocket which I think is really neat. I like the idea of a pocket, but I will say, I think the bag would look better if it was just the white monogram. Now you could carry the bag so that the card isn't really showing, uh, but I wouldn't want to have to do that. But I like that it's a pocket. I like the white monogram. I just wish that it wasn't there. Uh, the interior pouch is kind of neat. With the white, you get a red one, and with the black, you get a blue one and it looks like a big playing card. The Speedy Bandolier 25 is another neat one. Uh, again, I'm showing it here in the white, and it does have a card um, detail on the side, which is also a pocket. I've, I've heard that you can fit a phone in it, so that's kind of neat. Um, but again, I just think it would look better if it was just all, all that white monogram. If you were looking for an all white monogram piece, the Game On Zoe Wallet I think is very sweet. It's $795, and I do think that on a small leather good that this piece just, it works really well. It just works really well together. I think it's something you could enjoy every day, and I just think it's a really sweet little wallet. So that one, again, would be one that I would consider. One that I would definitely not consider is the Game On bracelet, because at $605, why spend $605 on a bracelet when for a little bit more you could have a wallet, right? or it's just like to me, it's like that's $600 that you're not putting towards a purse. So generally, I think their bracelets are a waste of money, um, but I think the Game On one is an extra waste of money. Just saying. Uh, the other pieces I really do not care for is the Monogram Speedy 30 that I'm gonna put over here that has the painting all over it. I really hate designs like this where they just paint on top of the monogram. I just, I just, I don't like it. I don't like the pops of color. I, it makes it look busier. I just don't like it. I think the ready to wear pieces for me, like I think the flower cutout A line dress is very cute, but it's $5,050. And like if I'm gonna spend $5,000 at Louis Vuitton, I want a bag. Like I just find that the ready to wear pieces are very pricey. And like, look, if you've got a budget for that, cool. But for me, I would rather spend that money on bags. So there's other bags, there's other wallets, there's zippy wallets, there's a pencil holder, which could be a cute makeup. Well, I think the collection is very cheerful and bright and fun. It's also just very busy. It's just a super, super busy collection. It's something I'm gonna take a pass on because none of the pieces are, to me, perfect. And any of the ones that I do like in the, in the I keep on call it multicolor, in the Game On collection, I like them even better plain. I wish that there was like a key pouch or a mini pochette because those pieces have been so trendy this year. Those pieces existed in the white monogram or even, I think this would be really cute, a heart-shaped coin purse in the white monogram. I think those would be super cute. I would. I think if I had seen one of those pieces, I probably would have purchased because I just think they're so cute. And I think that a kind of a fun and punchy print like this, I think it, for me at least, is most desirable on a small piece. So those are sort of my thoughts on the Game On collection. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below if you're picking anything up or if anything's caught your eye. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I'm happy to keep an eye on other Louis Vuitton collections or maybe Chanel. But if you like these videos, let me know and I look forward to chatting with you guys down in the comments. See you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.